All right, we got to switch gears here. What did you think of the AEW pay-per-view? Super entertaining show. Absolutely. Um, I wouldn't say like every match was great, but when the show was over, I thought it was, um, you know, the greatest show considering the time that it could ever be. Uh, I know that there's, um, I mean, it's the, the reaction's been very, very, very positive. There's, it's, it's not 100%. It's not like, you know, Tokyo Dome or whatever or some all-time classic show where it's 100%. But it's, I didn't do the percentages, but it's, it's a very, very high turnout and it's a, um, you know, extremely, extremely high percentage of people who absolutely loved the show. Some people said it was the best show they'd ever seen. I wouldn't go that far, but, for the time and everything like that. I, I would say that the main event was um, so entertaining. So absolutely entertaining. Um, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. But as far as if you look at the, whatever you would call the, the term is the cinematic shows, right? I mean, this, this match got way, 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 way better reviews than Undertaker and AJ, which to me, you know, was an absolutely fantastic piece of business. And this was, and I thought this was, you know, it, you know, whatever it was, they, they learned what they learned from that. I mean, that, you know, that was different. That wasn't, you know, that was a movie scene and everything. And it was so well done, but this really was, um, as, as creative as that was, I remember when they did that, when, when, when I saw the Undertaker AJ and, you know, realistically, you know, the people, you know, it's funny because like we always joke, there's like, you know, whatever it is, 50 people in WWE involved in creative. And then there's like, whatever it is, five or six people in AEW. And they're, they just out creative them ever. I mean, that's the one theme of that, that that's been is they just kill them in creative. And when I saw the Undertaker AJ, it's like, wow. I mean, Triple H and Hayes and all the guys behind that Undertaker AJ. I mean, they stepped up to the plate and it was like, man, you know. It's like, wow, maybe they maybe there are maybe maybe like they're as creative as AEW after all. And then, you know, this is like kind of like the response back, and it's like, well, no, they're not. They're not even close, even though as as much as I love that other one, this one was just this was one of the most for the time, you know, it's like it's like if this was done at another time, you know, maybe it'd be different. But we're in a certain situation where right now, I mean, the role of pro wrestling is very different than it was three months ago. I know some people are judging it by the old standards, and you can't. It's not the same thing. It's not the same animal. It's not as popular. It can't be as popular. You can't do it as well without crowds. But for what it was, um, this was one of the most entertaining matches, I think. If you took someone who was not a fan and had them see this, they would, you know, they would love pro wrestling. Um, and I just, you know to some people it was long to me it wasn't even it was 33 minutes to me it wasn't even long it was just it was insane i hope everybody's okay i don't think anyone i haven't heard of anyone being hurt seriously i mean there were some of those things that some of those guys did like matt doing that moonsault with the messed up ribs off the uh, i i knew someone was coming off a goal post but i didn't think it was gonna be matt and that freaking psycho dive that nick did like right before the finish and obviously the the Kenny Omega one winged angel off of like eighteen feet in the air into I mean it was a very well done crash pad but still I mean that you know that's just there's there was so much insanity in that match I mean there was funny stuff they did the the scene from the the seventy four movie the wrestler the Dusty Rhodes Dick Murdoch scene at the end where they're drinking except uh, instead of like both drinking beer like Rhodes and Murdoch it was um. Page drinking hard liquor and Kenny drinking milk, and um, but it's like the exact same scene after they, um, you know, beat up Swagger and the damn horse when the horse when he goes, you know, stay to the horse and the horse stays. It was just, you know, and then of course chasing Sammy in the golf cart again. Sammy Guevara, by the way, I mean, and it's not the only one. There were some guys on this show that so stepped up. I mean, Darby Allen, MJF, and Jungle Boy, Sammy Guevara. Um, Hikaru Shida, I mean, there were some great, fantastic individual performances, I thought. Um, so, yeah, I would say um, it was the right show that people needed at the right time. Um, you know, I mean, there were better wrestling. They have done better wrestling shows, but I don't know that I would say 
Now, I don't want to say that it's more of a home run than any other show because they really did like that. You know, that first All In was such a ridiculous home run, and the 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 um, Double or Nothing in Vegas last year was such an incredible show, and and um, you know even the last one um, was really a great great show too. Um, but but this is I know I know a lot of people thought this was the best pay per view that they've ever done, the best show they've ever done, and um, you know it's it's just hard. It's just, it's just like again. It's a different era. There's no fans. It's hard for me to, you know, whatever. I mean, I I, I was watching MJF and um, Jungle Boy, and I was watching and and, and Nyla Rose and um, Sheeta, and I'm watching these matches going like, I think, I mean, because of the performance of 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 um, Sheeta, I think this would have gotten a really great crowd reaction, but I can't be sure. MJF and and Jungle Boy, I was 100 percent sure. It's like if this was a if there was a crowd here. This was be, this would be like the breakthrough performance for both of them. That that and, and that's what this match was designed to be, and it accomplished it. Moxley and and Brody Lee, I think, in front of fans, just would have been absolutely fantastic. You know, obviously that last match you couldn't do it in front of fans, so you know that that you know it'd have to be a completely different match, and it wouldn't be as good. This was this was a situation where you know, like with AJ and Undertaker, then a straight match. I'm sure that the match wouldn't have been as good. So this is one where you. Um, you know, you're dealt a bad hand, and you make a better hand out of it, and that's that's a, a really good thing right now. That you know, in in doing it.